In France, these are the survivors. Dozens this morning rescued at sea. They paid smugglers to bring them to the UK when their small boat began to sink. James says they couldn't bail the water out fast enough. Uh, we try to go, but uh, we, uh, we can nourish the boat. Uh, have a full water inside, cannot go, and the machine cannot work. Engine broken and stranded, the French Navy came to their aid. These officers had spotted them and another boat in distress from the shore. Packed onto overloaded, unsafe vessels, some without life jackets, it's an all too familiar scene. More than 44,000 people came to the UK in small boats in the year to June, a rise of 26%. We're now in the middle of peak crossing season. You can see the sea is calm, the winds are low, the UK is in sight. And regardless of the obstacles which the authorities create, many are still determined to cross. Police are a regular sight on these beaches, numbers boosted by cash from the UK. But these patrols, the threats of being sent to Rwanda or deported without asylum, don't bother James. I'll try it again. Not, um, I want to go though. I will try it. Maybe I will wish. I don't know, but maybe not. I will try it next time. As more asylum seekers arrived in Dover, the Home Office says crossings between January and June are down. But for many here in France, it's a waiting game. Just a matter of time before they risk it all again at sea. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Calais.